Hey everyone, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I pray each of you are well today. Pray that the Lord is blessing you, keeping you. Hope you're getting prepared for the crossover on tonight. It's going to be great. Going to be great, great, great. God is good. Just want to share a very quick word. Invite your followers. Share this video. I feel like going on. Don't you feel like going on? Feel like going on. Glory to God. I so feel like going on. So, um, during my prayer time this morning, um, I was crying out to the Lord about some things, and I um, <laughs> just really poured my heart out to God about the matter, and so as I begin to pray and as I begin to cry out and, and, and bear my heart before the Lord, um, I asked God, hey, Miss Edie, um, I asked God, what do I do? What do I say? Where do I go from here? What's next? What? Question mark. What, God? What? What's next? What do I do? And the Lord said to me one word. He said, stand. One word. Stand. S-T-A-N-D. And immediately the scripture, um, Ephesians 6 and 14 came to mind where Paul addresses us talking about the full armor of God. But at the beginning of that text, Paul says, Apostle Paul says, after you've done all that you could do, stand therefore. We know the rest of the text. And that immediately gave me comfort. That immediately gave me peace. That immediately gave me strategy. The strategy to stand. When you understand that God has everything under his complete total control, there is nothing to worry about. Although the situation may look bleak, it may look grim, it may look confusing. You don't know what to do, what to say, how to say what like my, my friend Latanya, Pastor Latanya Kane. And Richmond, Virginia says, you chilling on a question mark. Even though you may have that experience, I encourage you today to stand. Stand therefore, regardless. I, uh, I believe, um, I can't remember who said this quote, but I read it a while ago and it said, standing still doesn't mean you're not doing anything. Because when you are standing as the Lord tells you to stand, even you've, even if you follow all of God's directions, you've followed everything that he's told you to do. You've gone where he told you to go. You've said what you were supposed to say. You've done everything. You prayed and cried, cried and prayed and prayed and cried again and fasted and all the other kind of good stuff. Even after you've done all of that, stand. Stand still. Because standing still... And seeing the salvation of the Lord does not mean that you're uncertain. It does not mean that you are unaware. It does not mean that you're uninformed. Standing still does not mean that God is not doing anything. Sometimes we get in God's way. Um, I, I can I think about um, when my uh, I used to babysit and when I was a teenager and, and if I was taking the kids somewhere 
you know, to the corner store or whatever, I would say, you stand right here. I'm going to go right over there to do whatever I need to do. And I'll come right back. And I would be, you know, five, 10 feet where I could still see the child in my view. That's what God is telling. That's what God is saying. Stand right there. I'm going to go do this, but I can still see you. I'm not taking my eyes off of you. I don't want you to move because if you move, then you may move out of my sight. You may move out of my vision. You may move out of place. So that's not what I'm going to do. And that's what I don't want you to do. And I encourage you on today. Stand still. See the salvation of the Lord. Stand firm on the unchanging word. Malachi 6 and 3. For I am the Lord and I do not change. Regardless of whatever it looks like, stand. Regardless of whatever it feels like, stand. If you got to cry, cry. Blow your nose, wipe your face. I talked to y'all a couple of weeks ago about King David. When he told his servant, I cried all I can cry. I've prayed all that I can pray. So what else am I going to do? I'm going to move forward. David got up. He washed himself. He ate a meal and went on about his business. But what I want you to do is... Learn to move on, but being still while you're moving. And what is being still? Being still means you are waiting for God to give his direction. You're waiting for God to tell you the next move. You're waiting for God to tell you what's next. But when you're standing still, you're standing in faith, not fear, not doubt. You're standing on his word. You're standing on his promise. And Jesus walked on the water. The disciples were amazed. They were like, oh my God, is that a ghost? Uh, no. He said, it is I. How is it that he could defy the law of gravity and walk on top of the water? Well, if he, Elohim, the creator, can create the water then by all means he can cause that water to hold him up so if Jesus can defy the laws of gravity and walk on water you can defy the laws of your feelings of your emotions and stand still the word of God says in the book of Exodus that Moses told the Israelites he says stand still and see the salvation of the Lord he didn't say panic he said stand still so that means if you're standing still that means you're watching you're waiting you're listening for something to happen for something to occur for God to do something so I want to share that word with you all on today just stand Stand in the faith knowing that God is going to bring you through. He's going to perform his word. Even if it looks crazy. Even if it looks like whatever God said to you is not going to happen. Stand still and see his salvation. Watch him work. And it may look like it's going in slow motion. But stand there. Don't move to the left. Don't move to the right. Don't waver. I know it's hard. It's challenging. Even for me, yes, it's challenging to know that God says, stand still, but I want to move. I want to do something. I want to say something. I want to, I got to be still because being still means I'm being obedient. But if I move, if I say something, if I do something, I move out of his sight. I move out of his, his vision. And then I can also disrupt whatever plan he had in place. So now he got to come. He got to do something different to fix what you messed up. So if God tells you to stand, by all means, stand. Don't move to the left. Don't move to the right. But wait, watch, pray, and be encouraged. I pray that this word blesses you. Share this video. Um, let it bless your life. And regardless of what you're going through, 
regardless of how you feel, know that our Father, Abba, Daddy God, has your back and He's working on your behalf because He's going to overturn, He's going to overthrow, He's going to void some things on your behalf because the enemy thought He had you out. He thought he was going to take you down for the count. But what the devil meant for bad, God is going to turn it around for your good and my good. Until then, be blessed. Have a wonderful, prosperous, happy crossover celebration. Enjoy the Lord. Enjoy your church family. And just expect the best. Yeah, the best is yet to come. But stand and watch him move. God bless.